right, guys, I got to own up to a bit of a mistake. I decided to do two buffets back to back yesterday. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, as you guys know, I went to Aria, and I went to Wynn yesterday on my Vegas trip, and that's not such a good idea. So, I wanted to go ahead and try a little something different. I intended to meet some uh, some friends that work here at Vidara, and I'm hoping that they'll come up and visit us. So, let's go ahead and see if this actually works. Okay, so the friends I intend to meet are um let me go ahead and see if it's gonna let me learn more oh that's uh that's a poor review there the learn more button doesn't work uh but yeah let's go ahead and uh see about a few things let's do some in suite dining over here now in suite dining is ridiculously expensive i do have to admit so it's uh it's not a good thing um but you know let's go ahead and get a little tea over here um i'm gonna choose my options and we're actually going to call up for some, uh, ooh, jasmine tea. And let's also do maybe a lemon ginger. Good deal. I like a good tea. And then maybe we'll get a little half and half for the, nah, I don't think that's going to taste very good. Yeah, I think that's everything that I want. Okay, cool, cool. Definitely not too long. We're not doing it long today. All right, let's keep uh, browsing the menu here, and I'm going to buy these ridiculously expensive things because you guys are the best. And let's see, we've got a continental breakfast, the American be breakfast. Apparently, continental is just a bakery, so I find that interesting. Uh, but as far as meals go, I am also kind of curious. Since it's uh, Vegas, we could do, let's see... Beef turkey, Hawaiian, or veggie patty and a Hawaiian weeder. Okay, so, you know, we could just do a burger for breakfast, or the burger for breakfast campaign, or alternately the, uh, I think they have a few sandwiches, they have, they have grilled chicken sandwiches, grilled cheese sandwiches, and all that, that are pretty nice to probably start the day with, or a nice BLT. Uh, they also do have a few other things, like they'll have appetizers and soups and all that, and, uh, yeah, we have all the good breakfast, so let's go ahead and see what's on the griddle right here. Maybe not. Um, what is a good option in here? Uh, we could do omelets. We could just do eggs any style, which you know, that looks terrible for $22. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to participate in that. You know, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the burger. Let's get down to the main meals. And let's go, unless they have pizza, which also looks terrible. Pasta doesn't look too bad. But. Let's go to the burger bar, and we'll go ahead and get the uh, burger. All right, well, I'd like to take my medium to a beef patty, and then we'll just put it on a wheat bun, two or three dollars extra. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and make sure we at least get some cheese on the burger here. Here we go. And we'll do the french fries there. That's just a good way to... Oh, they have kettle chips. I don't think that they're, uh, I don't think the kettle chips are fresh, so we won't do that. So I'll go ahead and hit OK, and then we'll just review the order. And it looks like we've got the Art of Tea and a Burger Bar. $33, man. The things I do for you guys. <laughs> wow, eight fifty dollars for delivery fee. Wow, okay. So this is, is going to end up being a $50 burger. That's ridiculous. But again, the things I do for you guys. Let's go ahead and place this order. It's just for one person. All right. And then it looks like it'll be delivered within the time quoted at the bottom of your tablet. Make sure do not disturb is off. And then uh, to change the order, we can ch call the suite. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so while we're waiting on the food, let me go ahead and show you guys how the tablet works. So the tablet, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like any other smartphone. You go ahead and go through your uh, individual little tabs over here, and then it gives you options, and you can just kind of add them to your hotel bill. So, for example, if you wanted room service like I did, if you just wanted a coffee or a... Uh, you know, tea or something like that. You could order it off of this, or you can go do dinner and whatnot. Um, I understand it's 24-hour in-room dining, so uh, even at, I don't know, 3.33 in the morning, if you wanted something to eat, this would be the way to do it. Uh, you can also do Starbucks pickup. I think that's about uh, 25 minutes right now for a guest room. Um, 
Oh, here it is. Here's current wait times. That's what we were looking for in the in the last clip over there. Uh, looks like we're sitting at about 30 minutes. Um, so, and I think it's a little after 8 right now, so probably about 8.30. It should be here. So that's pretty dope. And then coffee's over here. So if you like uh, Starbucks for some reason... <laughs> I'm not a big Starbucks fan. I mean, I like the froofy drinks, but I don't think they make very good coffee. But I'm not a big coffee guy anymore anyway, so it's probably just as well. Um, and they're open from 6 to 7.45, and then you can also check out your other bars and lounges over here. So it shows you the bars and lounges, not just at Vidara, but also at Aria, too, which is actually uh, actually pretty cool. They have the vice versa patio lounge, and I think they have, like, a club lounge, too, that's on a different level. I'm going to have to look into that. I might talk to the concierge about that and check that out. Uh, we also have the spa at Vidara over here, so if you wanted to go ahead and go down to the spa, uh, just kind of hang out in the spa area, hit the hot tub, all that jazz, that is an option. I think it's only like 40 bucks or something like that, so there's that option there. It's on the second level, and then they have a little smoothie bar over here too, the fitness center is in there. Fitness center, I think, is actually included in the... Uh, in the price of the uh, resort fee, so that's pretty neat. And then the nail services are just nail services. That's uh, pretty straightforward. They also have games here, so you can get like a like you can play video games and things like that in your suite. Or actually, uh, it's more really like uh, phone games. But you're in Vegas. Why would you want to do that? Don't do that. And then you can also order uh, day beds and cabanas, or you can put in uh, requests and all that. Now, personally, I've had the best luck actually going down to the uh, to the manager, the, the pool manager. And, you know, probably about midway through the day, and then just telling them, hey, man, you know what? You haven't sold them a single one of these today. If you'd like to make some money instead of just having them sit there, go ahead and cut me a deal. And usually they'll go ahead and uh, they'll take a couple bucks off, like 30, 40 bucks off. So it's only about half price. So it's not a bad deal. Uh, other property amenities, you can t check out some of the, uh, again, it's more about Aria's nightlife and all that. And then the other... Uh, Vidara attractions and things like that too. So that's a that's a cool one. And then you also have guest services over here, so you can check out the uh, Vidara Club Lounge, which is somewhere downstairs. I don't know where exactly, uh, but it is somewhere downstairs, which is pretty dope. And then you can actually check out uh, a couple other little things, mini bar menu and all that. If you're interested in the mini bar menu, they have jumbo cashews, and then they have kettle chips. And they have M and M's and crazy things like that, and it just kind of keeps going for a while. And these are ridiculous prices. I mean, sixteen seventy five for a Snickers, like who is that for? You know, it's twelve bucks for a Coke, fourteen for a Dasani water, and then you get the uh, Perrier for twelve seventy five. And then let's not even get into the alcohol over here, like the liquor and spirits and all that. I mean, who's paying thirteen dollars for a Bud Light? Please don't pay thirteen dollars for a Bud Light or a Heineken or anything like that. And then you got. 50 milliliters of gel. Oh, God, it's just these little bottles for, you know, $13, $14, $15. These are obtuse. So, yeah, guys, definitely don't uh, participate in the mini bar over here. Highly going to oh, an engraved charger, portable charger. That sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's basically what we have uh, going on with the tablet over here. So now we're just going to hang out and wait for our breakfast, and I'll let you know how that is. Okay, folks, so uh, I did get my order. Uh, it was a little too large for the robot, so they actually did send a real person. Uh, Louis was a pretty cool guy. Uh, so I got got my burger over here with the uh, with the lettuce and the onion, whole nine yards over here, too, and I think tomatoes under there. Yep, so we got that going. Uh, I got the steak fries on this side over here. And then we've even, uh, here's a nice thing, though. We got a, we got a little extra. We got some honey and lemon and all that. Um, but they also, the hotel, sent up a couple extra amenities. So they sent up a bowl of fresh fruit. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of nut this is over here. I'd like to find out. I'll go ahead and have a bite of one. Hmm. That's kind of tastes like candy. All right, right on, right on. So we got, uh, so got some lovely fresh fruit over here, and then a couple bottles of uh, Fiji water. So I'm definitely going to need that. Help to rehydrate, uh, so that'll be a good thing. And of course they brought in the little uh, mustards and ketchups and things like that. And then I think this is mayonnaise too. So yeah, we are just about uh, just about set over here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a break and uh, yeah, have some breakfast. Viva, it's Las Vegas. Viva, it's Las Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, Viva, it's Vegas.